Okay, this is going to be a very quick vid to show you how to use separate data folders for Thetis if you want to run multiple pieces of hardware. Uh, so first of all, bring up Thetis, shortcut, just type Thetis in on the start menu and this will appear. Open file location and this should pop up. Show you all your documents and your Thetis uh, uh, shortcut that you would normally double click if you're running it from desktop shortcut then you, it's essentially the same you would edit the, the shortcut on the desktop. So copy this, Control C, Control V, create a copy, and we want to have this original, we're gonna say, uh, sorry, we rename this, and we say uh, G2, and we rename this, and we'll say 7000. Okay, the next thing we need to do is find out what the command line options are for Thetis. So we'll start a command prompt here. And what we want to do is, um, if we right click on this and we do open file location, that will show us all the files and everything that are related to Thetis. So we copy this uh, path up here, change directory to that, right click to paste it in and we will uh, see all the files there. But we obviously want to run Thetis. You can just type TH or whatever and, and keep pressing tab and it'll cycle through them. Thetis.exe minus help, like so. And we can see we've got uh, these here. So what we need to do now is edit the shortcut that we had for those two Thetis versions. So let's bring up those, so open file location, so we have those two uh, Theta sh shortcuts there. What we're also going to do is create two temporary, uh, two data folders, so I'm going to just bung them on my D drive temp at the moment. Uh, new folder, we're going to create one called G2, and we're going to create one 7000 Mark II, uh, sorry, uh, DLE Mark II. And we've, I've done that so we can look at an example with spaces in. Um, so we've got those two folders. So we want to get this G2 one to link into this folder. So to do that, uh, we right click on this G2 shortcut properties. And we can see what it's running there. Thetis.exe. If we press space now on the end, we've got this data path. Right, so we put a space in, minus data, uh, path, colon, and then we want to use this G2 folder. So we'll go in there, we've got that up there. We can click there and we can just copy this. Control C, then go back to this, move to the end, Control V. So that's that one set up. So if I now say yes to that, if I double click this G2, you'll see that there's no wisdom file and it started to create uh, everything in here. We'll say OK, but I'm just going to uh, actually cross that, abort that and copy it from somewhere else so it doesn't have to uh, do it for this demo. So we'll shove it in there and we'll run Thetis up again on this G2 link. You can see things starting to appear in here. Like so. And if we go into setup and we set a name on this G2. So that's up there. We shut down. Everything about that link is now um, stored in this uh, temp G2 folder. So the database, um, MIDI settings, memory settings, all that stored separately. So now we want to set up the other link. So if we go up here, we've got this folder. And we want to change this other shortcut. So we'll right click on there. Uh, prop uh, properties. And we will move to the end and put a space in. And as you notice in this help that we got, um, we can see that this space use this data folder for everything but with spaces in the path well we've added spaces so we want to use this one so it's speech marks minus data path 
blah blah blah, and then end speech marks. So we'll come to the the target here. We'll put a space in speech marks minus data path colon, and then we want to use this. So we'll just click up here, copy all that, uh, move to the end, paste that in, and then close it with the speech marks. So that's that one set up as well. So we hit OK. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is just copy the wisdom out of there. Shove it in here so it doesn't have to process it again and then just run the 7001 up and you'll notice that everything starts getting created in there. Which is what we want. And if we do this, set up, options, uh, put 7000 in there. We've got this one as a 7000 and then if we run the other link... got this one as a G2 and we can run them the two together so we run this 7000 but it will say there is another instance running do you want to continue well we can say yes because they're in separate folders and we should see 7000 in the title bar so we've got G2 and 7000 running now but we want to get rid of that no of that uh, warning about the separate uh, instances running well there's another command line option here no instance warn. Do not warn if other instances are running. So we can edit this. So let's edit the G2 one first. And on the end, so we just move straight to the end and then press space. And then we can put in that minus no instance warn, which is that. And as you, you can see an example there, minus data path, blah, 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 space, minus auto start, which attempts to start the radio. On power on but uh, we don't want that instance warning so we'll put that in and we can also edit the 7000 one which is slightly different because it's surrounded in speech marks like that and that but if you look here there's an example for that use this folder for everything but with spaces and with auto start shows you how to use it there so speech marks around the thing and then no speech marks for this bit so we'll get into there we'll move to the end space and we'll put in that no instance warn like that and hit ok and then when we run these so that's that one starting and then we'll also start this one at the same time so there's two of them starting up now like so so we have two separate, totally separate, separate versions of Thetis running there. That's all there is to it. There's some other information um, in, uh, if you run minus help, um, for a slightly different approach to this, where it doesn't keep MIDI and memory separate, um, but it will create separate databases to use in each version. But if you want total um, separation between the two, then uh, use this method. The other method for reference is DBID, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. All right, there we go. Hopefully that will help. Cheers.